The six-month anniversary of Russia's invasion of Ukraine weighs heavily on locals raising awareness. News Channel reporter Tracy Lair spoke to some of those who are continuing to help. It is difficult for Katie Teal and other volunteers to believe it's been six months since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, 2022. And there's just no end in sight. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, so all we can do is just keep going. In March, Teal went all the way to the border to cook for refugees with World Central Kitchen. We were just in there with our sleeves rolled up. It really affected me when I came home. It was, it was still to this day, I think about those people. We spoke to her by the flags put up by Tom Moyer along State Street. Once home, Teal helped fishermen for Ukraine raise thousands of dollars at a Maritime Museum event. Dance for Humanity also raised $200,000 to help refugees. And Dr. Bob Dodge in Ventura is raising awareness about the nuclear danger as shelling nears a nuclear facility. We are closer today to the brink of nuclear war than at any time in the nuclear age. There is also a global Avaz petition calling on all states parties to the United Nations Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty to urge the review conference, which is happening right now, to call for a ban on all fighting near nuclear plants. Activists we spoke to said they hope people won't get war weary because Ukraine will need help for years to come. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.